welcome back to the family channel hello i hope you guys are having a fantastic day today and today we're going to be reacting to brits try texas tomahawk steak for the first time good job do you know what a tomahawk steak is no it's possibly the best looking steak i've ever seen i've never had one no, have you had one neither me you definitely not <laughs> I don't even and know like i've said i've found them over here but they are really expensive but i'm doing my outdoor kitchen this week we starting the chicken coop is on its way to me right now i got an email the, like earlier i know chicken coop you're probably thinking what the hell has that got to do with the kitchen but you will see um <laughs> but yeah i really want to try these steaks and i think you would love them because you love steak as much oh, as I, I do. I love steak. Uh, steak and a salad. Yeah, we haven't had a good steak since we've moved to Slovakia. No. And we've been here nearly four years. Even though we went for a dinner last Friday. And I was persuading Jonah to have a steak. And yeah. he's like, no, nah, I'm not going to have steak. Yeah, but I'm glad we didn't because this was the first time. We've been to this restaurant quite a few times. We didn't end up going for the Thai food like we wanted to because they were fully booked. And we've been to this restaurant a few times and the food's always been awesome. Yeah. And this time it was really disappointing. So if I'd got a steak and I was unhappy with it, I would have been devastated the whole weekend because yeah. it's yeah. really expensive. Yeah. Anyway, so we're going to be checking that out. But as usual, please make sure you do what? Subscribe. Yeah. And yeah. we will... And by the way, Leia is not with us. That's what I was going to say. Because she's skiing. But we... Actually, it was very funny because we can check the web camera on the skiing slope there. And we can see and the ski resort from here. And literally, there is like a tiny strip of snow left. They've so. like shoveled snow yeah. for them to ski on. So I'm hoping they're going to have a good week anyway. Anyway, without further ado, let's check out Bridge Try Tomahawk Steak for the what? First time? First time. <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Josh. Howdy. I'm Ollie. And today, we're having real Texas steak. I'm so excited. This is wild. This is going to be our so steak right here. Right. So, oh, nice. Right thing about the cowboy right here. Your cowboy crazy. is pretty much the exact same cut as the tomahawk. Okay. However, you're not going to have this big bone falling off of it. Okay. It is a bit shorter on the top side right here. Got it. But this is the granddaddy of all steaks. The size of this meat cleaver is literally like a kitchen and a museum. And yeah. All in the same place. All of our teammates back here, well over about 300 years of combined Look how thick they are. Wow. Well over a million steaks. Even in the shops here, you cannot find a good looking steak. No. Like I have I've not bought one because I said to Kat, I'm not spending the amount of money they're asking for it. And it's this thin little bright red piece of meat. But mm -hmm. hold on, you remember my mum got some steaks once and we had them and they were so chewy. And oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. They were like gristle. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah, not yeah. nice. Yeah, 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 I do remember that, yeah. Combined together. This is our own little bakery as well. You can see them already a making bakery. like fresh cheese. Yeah, yeah. bakery. Oh, this is key. Right. We've heard a lot about key lime pie. Oh, yeah. We just yeah, tried it. Yeah, never had it. I highly recommend you. Oh, we just had it deep fried. Yeah. A deep fried one on the rodeo. A deep fried one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he looked. He didn't look happy. <laughs> okay. Here's our appetite. Oh, wow. wow, oh my goodness, look at that. The quail bite. Quail bite. Oh, and that quail. is not something that quails hey. bite. We are biting no. into the quail. Stuffed and wrapped. Here we go. Let's do it. This is so overwhelming. This is crazy. What is crazy. happening? <laughs> mm. oh. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. What? We, we enjoyed the quail, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah. I used yeah. to have a load of quail here. And then I had to, I thought I had a lot of girls to begin with. Because remember, I hatched yeah. them all. And I was like, oh, it's so cool. we got so many girls. And then like a week later, I went and sexed them all. And they all turned out to be boys. So I was a bit disappointed. But I sent them to freezer camp. And then we ate them. And they were, they were, nice. they were delicious, yeah. actually. Didn't mm -hmm. they? And the eggs. You like the yeah. eggs. Cat makes a lovely salad. And she puts the full like boiled quail eggs in. They're really nice, aren't they? Yeah. They're creamy. A lot more yeah. creamy than normal yeah. eggs. I don't know if I've ever eaten quail before. No. I've had quail eggs. Mm. I actually once got a discounted quail. It was rancid and I actually got food poisoning. <laughs> the only time I've eaten quail. Are you okay eating again? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. It was long enough ago. Yeah. What was this one again? Pinya bomber. Get involved. Oh, nice. Because I got cheese in there, mummy. Mmm. Mmm. First two bites in this restaurant. <laughs> has more flavor than we consume in a week in the UK. I mean, it's in taste in Texas. Lime me. Wait, you, want, you want a bit of lime? Oh, yeah. way to go. That's some lime, my friend. There you go. Oh, I've definitely squirted a bit of my wow. It's always a risk. There you go. It's oh, always there's a always the risk. Cheers, mate. 
Look how nicely everyone's dressed. And then their t-shirts with yeah. camera people. <laughs> That'll be us. I'm not like getting dressed up. Mm. You know what that tastes like? You know chicken Kiev? No, no it's, stop. It's like, it's like a prawn no, Kiev. No. It is like a prawn it's Kiev. It's full of jalapenos. There's no... It literally, look, also, try that and tell no, me it's not a prawn Kiev. Kievs are all about garlic. It literally tastes exactly like a prawn Kiev. Well, it doesn't. It's, it's spicy. Yeah, it's, yeah. Got, it's a jalapeno. Mm. We are at the end of a whirlwind trip. Whirlwind to tour of Texas. Flew into Austin, oh. primarily for the barbecue. Drove down to Houston, and uh, we visited the rodeo. It's oh, been amazing. Cool. I love it. People it's are great. great. The food is amazing. People are so friendly. The roads are wide. I mean, they're unbelievable. <laughs> Everything's big. Unbelievably Everything wide. Everything is just so big. Seriously, the roads. Like, the roads have to be that big. <laughs> the roads the are car. wide. <laughs> Absurdly yeah, big. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you can only fit two cars on those 23 lanes. <laughs> I was looking again and we're probably going to hire a pickup truck because the RV thing, I've emailed a load of companies and that as well and it's just going to work out way too expensive. Yeah. So I was looking and we could hire a nice pickup. I think it's a Chevy. I think. I might be wrong. It's a Chevy or equivalent of a pickup uh, but it doesn't have a canopy. That's the only problem. Like, I know we don't need one. I'm just thinking if we get there and it's raining, our luggage yeah. and that. But, yeah, that's what we're probably going to end up doing. Because I I don't know whether I'll ever be able to afford my pickup truck here in Slovakia. So, at least I'd yes, like to will. drive one. Well, <laughs> not, not just the truck, the fuel. Don't look, don't look. Or behind us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are we still excited about this? <laughs> Literally flown all the way to Texas to have the taste of Texas steak. Wow. It's like a tennis racket. I mean, you could play golf with that thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. How would you play Here's golf with that? <laughs> date the tag number. This is your way to verify that it's the exact okay. same one. That you okay. It's like when they put a label on your child when they're born to make sure they don't get is mixed it, up. Do they do that? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. This is like, look like a good medium rare for us. That looks absolutely beautiful. The taste of Texas oh right there. <laughs> Why did he give you the badminton uh, racket? Well, and he gave me the... I mean, it's still... It's I still, don't even think I use it. You look like a cowboy. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like a caveman. Yeah, that means you look like a tomahawk. That's just really grab it by the bone. It's not a leg, boy. <laughs> I think you can happily do your carnival diet yeah. in Texas. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, it's so hard to do the carnival diet here in Slovakia. <laughs> Do you think I can hold this up? Yes. Yeah, I really want to yeah. hold this up. Yeah, I'll I'll go on, Josh. Go on. It's heavy. Of course it's heavy. <laughs> it's a slab of meat. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, Holy moly. Oh, yeah, yes. Wow. Chips. That mm. is huge. Okay. okay. It's, it's too heavy. Uh, no. Oh. Go, 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 go. Okay. Look at... It just slides wow. through. Yeah, you don't look, even need to put it. Look at this. Like when I when I like when I help mummy or you with cooking, I use and when I so when I cut meat, I have to like push. But I bet you if I was in Texas, I would just need to slide it. Mm, and it looks really. It, it's all down to like the, the cut of meat as well, but also how you cook it, eh? Yeah. 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 If you like get it cooked i'm praying that i get this barbecuing right because i do not want to look a mug i really want to have some good tasting food so i don't yeah, want to me too yeah <laughs> i don't want to end up with some big <laughs> tough piece of meat you yeah. it on your own, yeah. Yeah. or the dogs yeah <laughs> and me and kids will just go somewhere take away <laughs> take away <laughs> mate tom and my hawk let's do this <laughs> so juicy look at that they said it was well. wet age does that just mean oh. they moisturize it we normally have dry age we normally yeah, have dry, dry age but everyone says if you want to age well you should moisturize that's just oh. such an idiot <laughs> it's not the same thing <laughs> I look how big this slice of steak oh. is what uh, end to end yeah i don't right. think you realize how big it is <laughs> crust on the that outside. is massive cheers mate mm. oh my god mm. I really, really that good. Wow. This is why the restaurant's so quiet. Everyone's enjoying the food. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Do you know part of how this is from? Mm. No. Okay. You reckon that people order just one of those? No chance. Or, I would or one eat, for two people? I would eat that whole thing. Would you? 100%. You know I would eat that. When we have pork chops or something, I'll have three or four pork chops. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I could manage. Oh, Try like... And you, you would probably... We would get you, we would get everyone one each, and then what you don't eat, you take away, and you eat later. 
It's better yeah. than our pork chops. I'll <laughs> say <laughs> sorry, but I was dry. Okay. <laughs> Not when I'm you know what we should have done? This is truffle butter. Put that oh, wow. all on oh, top. Butter. I'm Boom. not sure I agree with this, Josh. Boom. What do you mean? Like a, if, if we don't like it, like we're all in. Like <laughs> that yeah, I, I didn't mean, consider that we wouldn't like, maybe not like one, it. You're like one of those psychos who puts ketchup all over their chips indiscriminately. Not a truffle butter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just hoping, I hope it's good, Josh. I hope it's good. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. 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 I tell you what is great about this. Oh, and oh, a great oh steak God. has this. It's crispy on the outside. Yeah, it's it's not dry at all. In fact, the opposite. It's like dripping. You can tell it's been wet aged. Like Paul Rudd. He's moisturized the heck out of his face constantly. And he still looks like a millennial at the age of like 80. All right, get involved. Truffle butter. You know this is going to be good. Yeah, it has to be good. I don't think you can go wrong with truffle butter. Mmm. I just took the biggest steak bite I've ever taken in my entire life. It's so flavoursome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's not wagyu, it where it's so like 80% fat. It just fat, looks you know? so good. That is not a lazy cow. That is a cow it that spent juicy. a long time running away from cowboys. And we learned today that that's hard to do. Those guys are it's tenacious. A hard, like, it's a hard They're tenacious with their, <laughs> with their lassoes. They don't mess around. Once they catch you, they dismount the horse almost instantly, uh -huh. right? Yeah. They get up to you. Yeah, yeah. You've already fallen over. They pick you back up on your legs and they go, so that I can tie up your legs tie more efficiently. Legs, yeah. Speaking of cowboys, shall we move on to the cowboy the steak? Cowboy steak. This is a happen. it's a similar cut, is it not? That's no. what they said. It looked like it has more marbling to me. So maybe a slightly lazier cow. Cowboy steak. You're gonna come to Texas and you see cowboy steak on the menu. You can't you not got, order it. You gotta order it. Blue cheese sauce. Oh, I'm actually up for blue, blue cheese, cheese sauce. sauce. Yeah, boom. Okay. Here we go. To Texas. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. That is that is more marble. Mm -hmm. Gosh, that's, it's really quite different. It is. It's not, <laughs> the texture's completely different. It's not as um, it's not as beefy. It's not as yeah, it's not as beefy. Not Maybe as that's lean. because this one's cut on the bone. See, he said because this is cut on the bone, you get like the bone marrow flavour seeping in. It's like really beefy. Whereas that, that's I like very meat on rich, the bone. Actually, I don't like. I'm not. I'm yeah. not going to say I don't like meat on the bone, off the bone, but I prefer meat on the bone. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. chicken breast. I don't like a normal chicken breast, but if if you do it as a roast chicken and you just cut or you scratch cock the chicken and then you have the breast on the bone, it tastes so much better. Mm -hmm. no? yeah. Like, yeah. There's so many people now that they will not eat meat that is on the well, bone. Well, your nephew, they, and yeah. they, they won't touch meat if it's on the bone. Yeah. It, it's yeah always, how weird is that? It's always good. Like... We, we, we get the best cuts then. But... Richness of the beef fat, just all in there, but it, the softness of it, it melts Can in your you mouth. imagine if you ate all of that? That's insane. That's literally insane. Yeah. Yeah. No wonder we had to order some healthy greens on the side. That doesn't taste remotely healthy. All I'm tasting right now is pork fat. If <laughs> Brussels sprouts tasted like that every Christmas, I'd have a whole plate of Brussels sprouts and be happy. Wow. 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 I feel like I've eaten about a normal entire steak's worth of meat already. I'm genuinely full. It's like Texan cars. You can fit most English cars in their glove compartment. <laughs> They're just so freaking big. One more piece so, of this juicy tomahawk. I don't know, even know whether it's this. legal to eat hawks in the UK. Oh, this is key lime pie. See, I don't think they like the other one as much. Yeah. Because it seemed like they were going for the tomahawk more. Yeah, actually, that's... Oh, that's right. I love that we tried deep-fried key lamb pie before actual key lamb pie. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you said, tasted like vomit. That Hopefully nice. this will change your mind. I, I have low expectations. Uh, key lamb pie. Mm, you should have that. It tastes oh, nothing man. like vomit. <laughs> when I feel like it. Quite the opposite. It nice. is, that is, so that is good. amazing. It's so... Mm. Sweet. It's refreshing. But it's but but sweet. refreshing. Look, I know people mm. in the food world like to give awards to things. Mm. I would give that thing an award. Like the pie awards. <laughs> but it's so good that you've yeah. made up a completely fictional <laughs> award so just so that you can award it with something. It wins. First first prize. Let's try the other All ones. Right. See if they All also right. win awards. Right. Home baked cheesecake. Cheese it's going to be incredible. It's going to be you know, so you good. Can, I mean, you know, good. At this yeah. point, yeah. these guys oh, don't miss. No? I don't know. I don't like it. Ooh. Ooh. A lot less sweet. That, I, that's Hold perfect. on, you said you wouldn't eat the strawberries. I, I said I would only eat oh, the strawberries. Oh, I thought you said the you Basque wouldn't. cheesecake. You know where? No. Or like a New York cheesecake. Yes. It's subtle. All right, we have a deal. You have strawberries and I'll have a cheesecake then. Yeah. yeah. I'll just have another steak. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, 
I love strawberries, yeah, but you do, they're eh? so expensive here. Yeah. No, 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 it's, get, it's the season. It's not season. Yeah, but season. yesterday when we were in the shop. Because we, it's winter. Yeah. yeah, I know, but there was a crate of it. And it was well, like. Well, a crate. There was a black It's not a crate, little. it's yeah, a little like box. A box yeah. For five. No, no, it was nine was seven euros or something. Euros or eight seven. euros or something. Yeah. And, but the thing is, though, there was like five or seven of them, all just moldy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was and the thing is with Garen as well is when you get something like strawberries or blueberries, they go downstairs, and then you look again, and there's little strawberry that leaves everywhere, and he's eaten the whole box within <laughs> ten yeah. minutes of being he just, home. He just leaves us the leaves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flavor. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly cheesy. You know what it's basking in? Oh. The glory of its new award. It has won Shit. an Ollie Kendall Cheesecake Award. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point I of want the award? You give it out to every cheesecake. Oh, oh, love Excuse me. How oh, can you possibly know that? All right, last up, Josh. Pecan pie. Look how thick it is. Can you see how? Well. I really want to try this guy. There's like a pecan. proper layer of that just pecan nuts to... on the top, and then it gets like caramelly, dense. Yeah, that's why I really heavy. want to try it because I've got a feeling <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> why have you done that? I panic. How do your what thing do go you straight have through against it? the pie? No, I just wanted spin... to get it. Stop it! Don't. Oh. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's just like yeah. pie, you know. Yeah. That's my favorite. I'm in a bit of a pickle now because I already gave the key lime pie first place in the pie award. This is definitely better than all of the others. Try it with the You see, that's what I really want to try. That, that pie looks nice. I'm not a sweetie person, but when it's got those like pecan, pecans or whatever you yeah. guys call them, I lo- like those pastries we get sometimes. Yes. I really love those. And I'm not a, I like, I don't eat a lot of sweets, but that I would. No, I would you eat. like some, anything with pecan. Right? Yeah. Okay. Or okay, even like what? pistachios. Now I'm going to crave nuts. the heck out of that. We can't get that in the UK. This is a problem. I'm not going to be able to order this. Yeah. This is a problem. I think that's maybe my favorite dessert of all time. I think it is. Whoa. I think it is. Whoa. As an awards hmm. ceremony owner and founder, I speak with a certain degree of authority here. Okay. And I would say that is among the top 10 oh, desserts. Oh, top three. I would say this is <laughs> basically on a level. Do you own an award the French ceremony? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you do. But I do. And I would say top 10. Okay. All right. Well, on that note, guys, this has been an amazing experience. Texas. We, we have you. to come back. We love oh, you. Texas, I want to come there just once. We'll see jolly soon. They didn't say where they were, did I they? Thinking. I'll be able to find it. I'll be able to look it up. I'm sure someone will tell us as well, because everyone always, like I was saying on one of the videos I did today, what's awesome about the, like my channel and the, like the community is people like will correct things and then they won't just say, no, that's wrong, but they'll send me a link to why it's wrong okay. and then I'll learn. It's like, very handy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but oh man, I just, I really... This year is going to be a tough year. We, we are trying our hardest to come mm. over. Uh, yeah. We really want to come over. It's all I'm talking about. And it, it's all Leia talks about as well. Whenever yeah. I take a, like whenever we go fetch Garen or something and it's just me and Leia in the car, she's like, I really hope we can go this year. So yeah, I might have to sell a kidney. Um, no, don't do that. Mm. Uh, you only we'll need, you only right need right one. We'll yeah, right we'll figure right it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Garen's Garen is a bit under the weather today. I think the exhaustion finally got to him because he had such a busy few months. Yeah. Um, and I didn't go to school. Yeah, he had. He actually had a day off school today because he woke up this morning feeling really rotten. And I said to Kat, let's leave him, let him have a sleep. And he only woke up out of, he got out of bed <laughs> at about midday, which is and so unusual for him. And him up. <laughs> uh, yeah, 11.30 or something. Yeah, he's got sore and throat. And he woke and me up, I would have stayed otherwise the whole so day. So he's, he's feeling a bit under yeah, the weather. Yeah, got cold. He had busy weekend you had a hockey game last wednesday a hockey game on saturday and yeah, then a Saturday's tournament yesterday Sunday, yeah. so yeah it's been a i, I scored a goal for your sexes and yesterday you scored and a goal. yesterday so, yeah. yeah so he did really well this weekend they played on small ice yesterday which wasn't very fun wasn't it they like half the ice because it's a tournament going on mm. where he's used to playing on the full thing now so it was a bit tricky wasn't yeah, it yeah uh, because it's like all of you guys are just yeah it's just crammed yeah, you can't cramped. yeah you look it just looked too busy on that little spot uh, for yeah. you guys now yeah anyway we waffling again it's nearly 20 minutes have a fantastic rest of your day thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you in the next video bye, bye.